Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic week. Woo! Man, talk about getting our butts kicked, huh? But the good news is, at least in my state and many others around the country, the numbers are going down dramatically. People are much returning back to, much returning back to, I don't know. I gotta stop talking that way if I ever wanna get ahead in life, right? But, long story short, things seem to be trending back to the normal direction. Ah, uh, with that being said, I thought today might be a good time to do a little local exploring. Rini's kind of uh, upset with me. I keep running off to the nearest neighboring states that have the highest infection rates, but I don't know, man. I just, maybe I've been lucky that way, I guess. But anyway, the next few episodes, my friends, will be from some outstanding locations here in my home state of Florida. Who am I fooling? Maybe this one and the next one at most. I can't help it. It's in my blood. What do you want from me? You know, I spent a whole year repressing my traveling urges and doing homegrown topic videos. And it was fun and all, but you know, it's really not my calling, to be honest with you. So today, I found a gem and a half really close to my own house. Maybe could replace my own beach. Very doubtful. But as far as a party town for you guys to come visit, when you come visit me here in Florida, well, all right, that may fill the ticket here. Today, we were at wonderful John's Pass, specifically John's Pass Village, Madeira Beach, Florida. Mm, just like a uh, Google, Google Map guy told me, Madeira Beach, Florida. Anyway, it is stunningly beautiful. I thought I'd get here for sunrise. As you can see from the opening, sunrise a bit hazy kind of beautiful I guess if you're not a local very disappointing if you're a local and then again I don't know I've never gone to my beach and had one of these disappointing openings but you know everything can't be your own personal you know beach right your own personal paradise anyway they have a wonderful amount of uh, amenities shall we call them here fishing trips jet skis parasailing Man, any kind of fun on the water you could possibly want, you will find it here. By me, eh, you can. Price is outrageously inflated. Um, I don't think we have parasailing. I know we have the rest of the stuff. Uh, fishing from out of here is probably a bit more superior than by me. Play beach, clear water beach. Uh, shark fishing trips. Uh, private charter boats. Yeah. When it comes to aquamarine fun, I would think that the Madeira Beach area really has, uh, you know, they have one up or maybe even two up on us in my town. But anyway, I'm out here early, want to beat the crowds. It's going to be an extremely hot day and an extremely busy weekend. So, without further ado, you like that? Let's keep it classy now. Without further ado, and I'll even use my announcer voice one more time. Without further ado, let us partake in the wonders that is John Pass Village. You like that? And I'm practicing. Maybe I get some voiceover work soon. But let's go, man. It's time to stop screwing around. People are going to show up any minute. Uh, I found a place that should have brownies or at least muffins. We're headed there first. I got to get something to eat. I got out here way before the break of dawn. Didn't even want to show you guys. You know, I'm getting tired of seeing people get on the get on the uh, the YT here and show you their phone. It's five o'clock in the morning, man. I get up early in that every day of the week. All right, my number one adversary, the birds are closing in. So, time to move to location one. I believe it's called uh, the something in Bean. You know me in coffee shops. Coffee shops are my new thing, but part of my old thing is I can never remember their name, man. Anyway, let's get rolling. Coffee shop time. Right. 
we all know in this fancy schmancy town it is very very hot and it is beautiful there got to be a coffee shop right so at least one I mean I know there's a Starbucks but I ain't interested in that I read of this place called the I don't know something and bean you know me man my 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 memory is like you know even after I have some caffeine I can barely get it started but anyway, I heard they have luscious pastries, muffins, perhaps even brownies, I don't know. This is what I was told. But I have to find the place first. And you know, that means some wandering around when your new, your new way of doing work is no, no foregone thought, just going into it. Oh, man, this, this looks like some kind of mall. Uh, let's see, maybe we'll roll in here and see what's going on. Maybe I'll get lucky. Well, first of all, I don't know if this is exactly a coffee destination because I see uh, lighthouse, but you know, I'm attracted to lighthouses, I can't help it. It's almost like shiny things. And it's a cool looking mall, man, check it out. Of course, everything in Florida has a palm tree. I don't know, I got a good vibe that this place is in here. I don't know, even though I see a big old seafood restaurant and a bunch of kids jumping around, well, that's a good sign, isn't it? It's always a bunch of young people and kids that drink coffee. Hmm, arcade. Oh, that may explain why there's all the kids around. All right, that's arcade that way. F and R. Anybody have any idea? Uh, public restrooms. That's what that's all about. Okay, let's head back to the other side of the mall. Perhaps I'll get lucky at the other end. I tell you what, though, look, man, pretty cool. Video game arcade for adults so I'm guessing that means they must serve alcohol mask required use of the door hmm definitely a nighttime spot arcade is open oh it is open eh, maybe we'll go into the arcade later I really came here to be outside let's see if we can find coffee thing Oh my God, success. We have made it, I have found it. It is called Addicted to the Bean. I told you Bean was in the title, right? We just know that I'm kind of lame with remembering names, but it looks absolutely delicious. I will abide by their rules to wear a mask inside. There is only one other person that just went in, so I really don't have much choice, do I? But look at me, iced mocha. You know I'm not a coffee drinker, but I'm looking for some caffeine. Uh, ice something or other maybe to get my day started. I'm sweating already. I was on the docks early this morning like a, a good fisherman should be, but uh, look how lucky I get. I found it in my first rollout. It didn't take me an hour like last time, right? With the uh, bird and bean, with the non-latte chocolate latte that turned out to be a frozen uh, hot chocolate. Delicious, still remember it. Thinking I could even go for something like that right now. But I'm either looking for, we know what, a brownie, or I even settled for a muffin today. But I gotta get something, man. I was out of the house way before sunrise and I've had nothing. I ran the docks. Smells like a fishing village. I'll give you a little background. This used to be a fishing village, but let's go inside. Let's snatch something up before everybody gets everything good. And you know me, I'll cry, whine, and complain about it for the next five minutes. And I don't think you guys are really interested in that, so. Mm, addicted to the bean. I like it. Let me get my mask out. Mask out time, and then we go.
Oh, I'm going to buy. I would like that delicious looking chocolate muffin that you have down there. Okay, did you want to ever uh, heat it up because this is refrigerated? Um, yes, actually. A little blast would be great. Thank you so much. No problem. Are you going to enjoy that here or to go? I'm going to have it to go. Okay. But I also would like a... But we have all these different flavors and stuff here too. They need to mix them out. All right. Thank you so much. anything or not like you're buying today or just looking didn't have a problem with either one but of course you know we always patronize every place we go into the film it would just be rude not to buy something I would love to highlight your place but I can only uh, do it justice if I actually buy something so I broke with my norm and I actually got some caffeine this morning so we're gonna see how good the bean is this is their regular house seems like it's extremely hot. Oh, that's a little door flap with a, okay, door flap with a holder button. Very impressive. Oh, that's hot. And that's good. So, so far, I'd say, yeah, let's have another sit and find out, huh? Oh, that's actually very good. I would say, good morning, how are you? <laughs> See, everybody loves this place, young and old. Everything's delicious, you can't help yourself. I'd say their coffee is a okay. seven out of 10. You know, I'm not a big coffee drinker, I really wouldn't know, but that's not blowing me away. Now, one thing I did enjoy was there was an option on the muffin. It is refrigerated, but if you would like it heated up, well, they'll do that for you too. So I definitely had them do that. I know it may seem crazy to drink in coffee and have hot muffin while it's extremely warm out, but sometimes it helps equalize the inside and the outside. So very artisan wrapped, delicious looking. I like to start on the stump. I know a lot of people don't like the stump, but I like the stump. Let's, uh, let's see what it's like. It's fluffy, very light, very light type of muffin. Not a dense, you know, supermarket. Could be a little sweeter for my taste. You know, I'm a chocolate addict. Let's go to the heart of it. Everybody, everybody loves the cat. Let's have a piece of the cat. Average. Grand total, cup of coffee and a muffin, seven fifty. I think that's a bit pricey. I think that's uh, yeah, a bit pricey. I think three dollars, three fifty for the coffee, four dollars for the muffin. Definitely not a four dollar muffin. But I'm starving and it's delicious. So the view's not half bad. Let's finish this. Take a look around. This once fishing village, now tourist village. Eh, coffee not bad. And again, I'm not a coffee drinker, so you probably should go by me. I would say addicted to the bean. Overall score, I liked them and everything. Still only maybe a 6.5. Uh, bird and bean. Still, 6.5, it's not bad. Better than average.
All right, now that's what I'm talking about.